Yeah, and I I have been very interested in this spinoff for a couple of reasons. Um, like you said, it, it's looking much more robust mm-hmm. in terms of a company. Um, there is a, a, certainly some opportunity with the expansion of aerospace and defense, and we're starting to see uh, automotive with you know Ford F one fifty going to a lot more aluminum yeah, all, construction all aluminum for frame. Yeah, um, Tesla all aluminum right, frame. All aluminum and. So it really intrigues me, and one of the reasons it also intrigues me is if you you know looking at the financials specifically of Arconic, I'm I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> yes, we'll get used to the name to eventually. Say. But if you look, the margins were actually pretty good. I mean, if you, they have a operating margin of about sixteen yeah. percent, which is pretty decent. Shit. Yeah. And another reason that that one actually in, interests me is another move that happened a few months ago was uh, Berkshire Hathaway buying Precision Cast Parts. Right, and yep. if you look at the two. You know, businesses when you take the spin off and precision cast parts to get uh, head to head, they look relatively similar. Sure. And so, from an investor standpoint, you know, Arconics does kind of interest me a little bit. The thing that, especially from evaluation, because if you look at how much um, Berkshire paid for precision cast parts compared to what you could pay for mm-hmm. Alcoa today and get both at the split and then just lose your and shed your Alcoa shares, yeah. it does look very attractive from a valuation standpoint. Um, the thing that, that worries me more than anything else is how the company decides to divide up the debt. Yeah. Um, you know, when you have a company like this, you know, where are they going to, how is that going to break out and how is that going to affect the company's profitability long term? Because if they, you know, tie up all of the debt into the existing, co- uh, into the new company, our yeah, products, interest is going to crunch pay it off. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be my one issue. So I am watching this one with, with quite a bit of interest in than yeah. I normally would with Alcoa. And um, so I would really like to see that happen. Absolutely. And, yeah. And you look at the automotive. Um, part sector in particular, the right now it it's trading at a very cheap multiple on price to book compared to other sectors. Um, Gavcall Research put out a great image um, this morning, or at least I saw it this morning, and it listed probably like twenty to thirty industries, not just the main sectors, but industries, and and right down there with banking at the very bottom with the point nine price to book value, automotive parts and suppliers were um, were right down there just above one. So it's a very cheap sector right now. Not to say that that's all this is tied to because there's aerospace involved in there as well. Um, but you know maybe it's something to look at when they spin it off in the second half of this year.